I have booked a flight to Fort Lauderdale, which is in Miami. Let's do it. Thank you very much, bro. Have a nice one, yeah? We have arrived in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, I can feel the heat on me now. It's a bit cloudy, overcast, but I just tripped on my own foot there. Oh, time to make some good videos. Right, let's make a boogie on out of here. I need to try to find the bus. I feel like it'll probably be this way. Oh, excuse me, is there a bus that takes you to Miami Beach? No? Is there a bus that takes me anywhere towards takes Miami you Beach? To Aventura, yep. go to bus stop G. Bus stop and G. And wait for the number one bus going south. Cool, thank you. Okay, so there's, uh, there's two buses that I need to take. One to Aventura and then another one to Miami Beach. Oh yeah. No jumper needed, just t-shirt. I'll see you later. This is a Jack, by the way. He met What's me on good, the plane. Jake, Jake. Jake. So we're gonna, we're gonna meet you a little bit later, yeah? Yeah, hell yeah. Perfect. Where's the bus stop? No, I need the number one bus. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Yeah. Jake, I'll catch you in a bit, yeah? Yeah, see you. So he was sitting next to me on the plane. It's overcast, but it's warm outside. This is Fort Lauderdale, so for anyone ever flying into Miami, my recommendation is flying to Fort Lauderdale because it's a fraction of the price and a cab journey from wherever you're going is the same price so you're way better off just flying into Fort Lauderdale and getting a cheaper flight Jesus Christ so I'm basically just waiting for a bus that goes south it's about 50 minutes and then it's another 50 minutes so I'm gonna get there like Jeez, it's nine o'clock. Okay, so I've got one bus. I'm just walking over to the other side to catch the 120, which heads into Miami Beach. Okay, we're pretty close to the place. Note to self, if you're with like three people, get a cab. It's much faster from Fort Lauderdale. But if you're getting a bus, it takes about two hours, maybe a bit longer. My flight got to the bus station around well, eight o'clock, I'd say, and it's now 10.30, a good two hours. Yes, bro. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? You want to take my shoes off, yeah? Yeah, just leave them here. Right, the rain has finally stopped. I'm getting an Uber this morning to potentially have a look at a motorbike. So I think my Uber's here, yeah, he's just over there. I'm gonna have a look at some motorbikes this morning, get some transportation while I'm in Miami. I think Miami's a good place to go because there's bikes everywhere. Talking about bikes, three bikes right there. Came to Miami to uh, get out of the rain and it's a, a tropic thunderstorm at the moment. Jesus. Thank you very much, yeah? You're welcome. Have, have a nice day, day yeah? Oh, this rain needs to go away, right? We're at the first motorbike shop here. I think I'm gonna have a look at an adventure bike. Hello. Hi baby. You alright? Yeah. I called uh, yeah, like 20 minutes ago. Oh, I'm you're the guy yeah, in yeah, the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi man. Nice to meet you. I'm Joel. Oh, how are you, Joel? Nice yeah, to meet good, you. Good, thank you. Oh, yeah, great, yeah. great. So you're going to be traveling somewhere? Yeah, so I'm touring all 50 states of America. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a bike, like an adventure bike. Like yeah, so obviously, I'll see yeah, a tour. It doesn't need to be a tour, but I need something with like a back boxes and, and stuff. A guy with 70 years old got yeah. this bike zero miles in 2016. Uh -huh. He drove it around the country. Yeah. He put 72,000 miles. Yeah. I didn't want to buy the bike, but my brother says he's the one hunting bikes around on the, on the uh, these bikes are trading some on Florida uh, yeah, yeah. dealership from Carly's and Triumph and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, usually when you put a lot of miles, you see wear and tear on the bike. Wear yeah, and tear yeah. on the front. Yeah, yeah Because the sand of the road and blah, sure. blah. He put a special seat to grab right here. Yeah, his so ass, yeah. Yeah, there's no real wear on it, to be there's fair. There's no wear. He put good tires on the bike. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the oil is fresh. We service the bike after mm -hmm. that. All the accessories are super good. Yeah. He's get, it looks like he's kept in, he's got mud guards. been kept well. Look at the lights on the front. Because it, it's important to be seen when you ride. Yeah, of People. course. We'll be doing a lot of miles to be fair, so... Yeah, this man. thing is, is incredible. I'm gonna start it out. Yeah, go for it, man. Six thousand for the bike. Six K cash, yeah. And then the taxes are registration. Seven percent. 
420. Those are your taxes. Sure. And then 185. This is tax. Yeah. And this is registration, mm -hmm. tag, and title transfer. Sure. What we can do is keep an electronic title. Mm -hmm. uh, electronic titles on the cloud. And what you can do, you can just go and print the title and anytime you want. But it's better if you have it on paper with you. Oh, uh, because I'm, I'm going to need it when I give it to police, right? No. No? The registration is what you need. Registration is going to be a paper like this one, you know, with all the permission of the bike. Yeah, yeah. And your insurance. That's all. Basically, 6605 out of the door is what you're gonna pay. Okay. So I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, but I've called a couple of insurance companies. It's quite complicated when you're buying a bike. You've got to make sure that you've got someone in the state and somewhere where you can register the bike to be able to insure it. I found a couple of companies. The cheapest insurance I found is around about 250 pounds a month, considering I'm a foreigner. That Suzuki looks pretty promising. It's got top boxes. But we're gonna have another little walk around it. Right, one bike shop down, another one to go. So that bike seemed pretty good. I'm quite enjoying the, the search for a, uh, a, a bike. I think just the only, my only concern about that one is it's got 74,000 miles. Um, so I'm going to another shop that has a similar bike. It's more expensive, but it's only got 4,000 miles. I just want to check the condition of it and see what's best really. This is the second place that do motorcycles. How you doing man, I'm John, nice to meet you. I called before yeah. about the uh, bike. How did you get these up here? It's with that crane. <laughs> we open that little gate. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. That price? Yeah. It was 78.50. Okay, it's not bad. It's not a tour. People went crazy for this one. It's because nice. It's like a naked sports bike. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the bikes, the bikes are a bit expensive here. They've got a lot of them. There's none of them that sort of match what I'm looking for. This is pretty cool. Okay, so that bike is good, but it's double the price of the other one. Yes, the first bike I went to go see has got an extra, I don't know, 70,000 miles. I'm just concerned it's got so many miles that it could be a problem, but the bike is in very good condition. It's looking positive. Having a set of wheels as well is gonna make my life so much easier. Good morning everyone. So after doing a lot of research, I have found the motorbike that we are going to be getting to complete this trip and to give me accessibility while I'm out here. So let's get dressed, let's head over to the motorbike store and then after that I'm getting a haircut because I look way too fluffy right now. Let's go. Right, my Uber should be arriving. I bought a hoodie, not that I'm gonna need one, but I'd rather be, uh, I'd rather be safe than sorry. All right, take care. You too. Let's go, oh, look at the sun, boy. Look at that sun. Let's go test out this motorbike. Hello. How are you, buddy? I'm good, brother. You? Good morning. I'm going to test ride it today, but yeah. it seems it should be fine. I'm going to take it for like a little ride. It's going to be, it's going to be incredible. You're going to be impressed. Yeah, no. I went into about six bike stores yesterday. I think for what you get on that. The mileage is obviously the mileage, but I think if you look after it, it should be okay. And the more important thing is when you see some of the bikes with uh, regular mileage, mm -hmm. they're no better than that one, on the yeah, sense, yeah. cosmetically wise. Yeah, for sure. So they're used bikes too, but this bike is being taken care of by this guy a lot. And they're cleaning up the bike. They're just making sure everything's good on it before I take it for a test ride. And obviously if I like it after the test ride, then we'll potentially be buying the bike. I'm just emailing my passport. This is the, uh, the like registered keypad information I now own American bike hi there um, I got a quote yesterday for a motor bike insurance if I give you the quote number I just wanted to take out that policy please right that's what I I'm not able to do I have to get you to another specialist who can access the quote I'm not able to access it at all all right no problem and I've got a quote number here I was just waiting to see if I'm definitely gonna buy that motorcycle and I am so I wanted to take out the insurance if possible please yeah I can help you out with that mm -hmm. just your signature here that's me done, yeah? That's you done. Congratulations. Done, done deal. <laughs> Crazy. Here she is everyone. My V-Storm bike that's gonna take me all around America. Should we uh, start it up? Let's start it up. So I'm 
going to basically repack my hiking bag with this massive backpack, fit it in the bike, and it's just going to be much easier for me to get around. So I'm going to pull the stuff in there. Should be nice and easy for me to basically have it all repacked. is happening tomorrow thursday i called the uh, barbers to make sure i could get an appointment but i'm going down with the guy i'm staying with called fecha barria and he's the person i'm staying with on couch surfing we're going to grab some bikes and we're going to do a on the beach workout very excited yeah these ones yeah I mean, hold it here and then put, put it here. Es que que siempre me olvido de su dirección. Okay, gracias. Ya voy a ir para allá. This is a uh, fun in Miami t-shirts out. This is good though. We in Miami, boy. We in Miami. This is, uh, this is some good multitasking for me. Vlogging on a bike. As a man, I'm not very good at multitasking, but I'm doing my best for you guys. See, you can multitask as well, man. Look. Multitasking on a bike. And he's on, he doesn't even have a tripod to hold on to. It's a prime spring break. Beaches are busy. Myself. Got a fat blister on my finger. Talk about Miami nightlife. Today's a Wednesday, it's not even busy, and the streets are packed. So we're currently on uh, Lincoln Road. This is where you've got all the malls in Miami Beach. So you've got main like shops, pretty much loads of restaurants back and front. It's a, a good place if you want to stop in the afternoon and eat, or you want to do a bit of shopping. This is where the main strip is. Like the Vegas Strip, just way smaller. Yeah. 